Hello everyone. I pray that you are all in good health at this time. Human as we are, we have a culture that when we're young, we squander our health to get well. But when we're old, we squander our wealth to get back health. That's the reason why it is my sincere wish that this video will give you a bird's eye view of your health condition and you will know how you can prevent it. Now, we're going to share with you the stages of diseases. This is your sharing doctor, Dr. Daisy. So number one is energy deficiency. A disease starts when our energy is exhausted and drained. So we lack energy and that is the start of disease. That's the reason why it's very important that we have enough energy in our body. When we don't mind restoring our energy, it gives rise to the second stage of disease, which is called provocation. Provocation means that there is an accumulation of toxins because of the dysfunctions of the various parts of our bodies. The cells, the tissues, the organs do not function well because of the lack of energy or because of energy deficiency. And this is the reason why this dysfunction gives rise to what we call accumulation of toxins. And when this is not corrected properly, this again leads to toxemia. Toxemia is the accumulation of toxins in the body. These sources of toxins are both internal and external sources. Internal because toxins accumulate as waste products of metabolism and this starts from our digestive tract. When foods we eat are not properly digested, they become fermented. And this means spoilage of foods. So they are not absorbed by the body. They stay in the stomach or in the intestines and they attract bacteria and other microorganisms. And this bacteria, their waste products become toxic to the body. The other thing is we get them from external sources. Like when we breathe, we get carbon dioxide and we lack oxygen because of the metabolic wastes, of the dysfunctions of the various parts of the body. So more carbon dioxide and less oxygen will further the dysfunctions in our body. And this gives rise to the, thir to the fourth stage, which is called inflammation. Swelling in the body will result because of the accumulated toxins. There will be blockages blockage of the blood, blockage of energy, and there will be pain. This is also the time when tumors develop. In the Western medicine lingo, this is called the itis, like you have tonsillitis, appendicitis, gastritis, and the other itis, itis that is called, which is simply inflammation of a certain part of the body. Now, this is also the time when cytokines run to the rescue. There are times when the body overproduces cytokines and cytokine storms result. So instead of regulating 
the inflammation or the swelling in the body, it adds up to more inflammation, more swelling, or more tumors in the body. When this is not corrected, it results into what is called the spread of the disease. In this stage, other tissues, the other organs, are also affected by the inflammation or by the disease. At this time, the disease has rooted deep enough. When this is not corrected properly or addressed properly, this results into the next and final stage, which is known as the destructive stage. It is at this stage that the disease is more aggressive and extremely harmful. Treatment becomes expensive and difficult. Whether you opt for Western medicine therapies or natural medicine, it is very expensive. Now, as we see in this stages of disease. We know that the interrelated unity of our systems are different body organs, different tissues are interconnected in functions. And when there is energy deficiency, there will really be energy imbalance. And that is the start of a disease. When the deficiency is not corrected, it gives rise to the provocation of disease. And when not properly addressed, it gives rise to what we call signaling or appearance of symptoms. When it is not corrected, it gives rise to inflammation and from inflammation, it advances to the spread of the disease and on to the final stage, which is called the destructive stage. This is the reason why we have to watch out for our bodies. When we uh, listen to our bodies, we can avoid energy imbalance and we can avoid disease formation thank you so much and may god bless you more